Hi everyone, Sal. I've been asked for a few more halogen oven cooking tips. Okay, we've done the roast dinner. You've probably seen that one. If not, have a look at it. It's quite nice. Um, been asked for another few. Uh, we're going to do a couple then. So today's one is um, how to do chicken breast wrapped in bacon uh, in the halogen oven. This is the Michael James one. Uh, it's, I've already done a review on the actual oven. You've probably seen that. Have a look if you haven't. Uh, it's a fantastic oven. So today we're going to show you this one. Uh, we're going to show you how to wrap it up and do the whole thing. Uh, our vegetables are going to be done in a steamer and our mashed potato is going to be done in a saucepan. There's our steamer for our vegetables, uh, carrots and a bit of broccoli up there. And obviously we're just going to do mash in, uh, we're just going to boil it up basically in a saucepan and mash it up. But the main recipe is going to be the microwave, this, this halogen oven and our chicken and bacon. So hand you over to Jan. Now, this is something I found that cooks really well in the halogen oven. Again I'm no cook, I'm no chef, but this is how I like to cook these chickens. You get a North Stock cube and then you, you have to cut your chicken breast down the middle like this and then you slide your North Stock cube in and save a little bit for after. You Wrap your bacon around. Okay, there's some more bacon here. You wrap your bacon around. And we've got a dog who's very excited down here, thinking he's going to get some bacon. No, you're not. <laughs> and you pop that in your foil ready. And then what I do then is sprinkle a little bit more along the top. The chicken stock cube. I'm going to wash my hands because I've been touching the chicken. I've got some muscovado sugar, brown sugar. Just sprinkle a little bit of that on. Again, this isn't. This is just something I know works really well. You can have whatever you like to flavour your chicken. And then a teeny weeny weeny bit of butter, naughty but nice. Okay. I'm now going to prepare the other one ready, and then we'll come back. So we have both of them ready now with the foil. I've laid in the bottom of here this rack because I want the heat to come up underneath the chicken. And I'm going to use my spacer for a minute so that the, the heat isn't too direct on it. I'm going to wrap them up for now. They're quite big, so they're gonna need probably 40 minutes, but I've got a um, tester, one of the uh, heat temperature things, so you can check if it's cooked. And then five minutes before the end, I should undo the foil and I shall brown them off. So for now, right this minute in time, I'll wrap them up in foil, pop them in there, pop the spacer on, simple as, put this on, plug it in, switch it on, 40 minutes, around about 180, turn the potatoes on, and go and have my nice cup of tea in my lovely garden. Now what I've done, I've taken out the spacer and I've given it five minutes without the spacer only because they were so thick, the chicken portions. I want to make sure they're really cooked through. What I'm going to do now, because I want to brown off the bacon, make it crispy, is I'm going to take them off now. You can see them in there. All right, so they are rather large. So I will test in a minute that they're cooked through. But now I want to get the bacon brown. So that's it, and I'm going to give that 15 minutes and turn it up a little bit, up to 225. And that's it, I'm going to keep an eye on it now though to make sure that uh, it doesn't burn, and then I will turn them over. Okay, so if you want to look in here, you can see it still needs cooking because I can see the juices from the uh, chicken bubbling up. But I've got one of these, and I always check, especially with chicken, pop it in and then wait for the dial to go round. So we'll know whether it's going to go around. We want it to go all the way around to make sure it's cooked thoroughly through. All right, so we've just got to wait for it to go around and get us up to the setting we want. I've been crisping this bit over. I'm now going to turn them over. As I say, it's a big chicken breast. Oops, I don't really want to do that. I need to turn it over, and this is the tricky part. And then get the other side. A, make sure it's well cooked through, and B, get it nice and crispy, because that's how we like it. Pop this back on, have it on the lower setting without the distancer, 
give it another 10 minutes and I'm just going to turn it up a little bit higher now because I want to I want it to cook a bit quicker now oh, it's lovely so what I've done because I say I was a little bit concerned about the size of these chickens and when you pop this in you don't want to get any juices coming out and there aren't any juices now so I know that chicken's cooked but I, what I did was I turned it around inside so because of the halogen the way it heats so that it got cooked both ways so it got cooked that side and that side equally so now what it needs me to do is to take them out pop them on the plate with our vegetables there we are one, there's two, we'll get bacon got left behind, we'll have that as well, there we are, and there's the rest of the dinner, there's our meal, ready to eat, we'll pop it on the table, we have our gravy, I've made the gravy, I've made a lovely chicken gravy, and then I'm now going to uh, pop that on. Here we are ready. Lovely gravy. That just leaves us to sit and eat it. Can't wait. <laughs> and we mustn't forget poor Toto here, absolutely drooling for his little bit of chicken, his little bit of veg. Alright, give him a couple of little bits, a few peas. He lives better than we do. There we are. Do you want your dinner? Whoa! Oh, look at that. Shaking all over.